So um, if you were to give like a the younger you um, advice or a woman who's like maybe going through like indecisiveness, not knowing what path to take or not thinking they can, you know, be successful as an entrepreneur, what would you, what would you share with your younger self? So one of the things that I, that pushed the, the whole reason I think I have built, been able to build what I've been able to build today is because of my podcast. But I think that was so successful for this very specific reason, um, my voice. And I don't just mean like what I have to say. I mean, how I speak. Um, I always, I was always in, uh, into acting and that whole world because of my mom. And I always actually wanted to be a voice actress because I just felt like I had a voice for it. And then one day I heard Amy Porterfield or some, I think it was Amy Porterfield say something like, um, say something like, oh, oh no, it was someone talking to Amy Porterfield saying that she had a great voice for podcasts and that it was a tool that she can use to advance her business and a tool that she should use. And I remember realizing that, wow, all these years I'd wanted to be a voice actor and I'd wanted someone to pay me to use my voice just because I know I have a really nice sounding voice. And it never occurred to me that I could build my business off of that voice. So I, the advice I would give would be whatever that thing is that, you know, you're really good at, and it comes naturally and you're in no way you're like, there's no way that this could be how I build a business. You know, it's just, maybe you think it's a hobby. Maybe you think it's a natural skill. Maybe you think it's like so unrelated. I would really sit on that piece And maybe try to find other people who are using that same skill in a different way than you might even have thought of and see if you can try to do what they did. Because I literally just, I would try out for musicals randomly. I loved karaoke night. I always, I I really like research being a voice actor. And now that I'm doing this podcast, I'm like, oh, this makes so much more sense because I had this vision for being an entrepreneur. I have this toy knowledge and now I see how I can use this voice. That was a gift, uh, to advance all of those things. So that's something I wish I realized sooner. Cause I could have been doing this for years. Yeah. I, I've had this voice my, for my whole life. You know, I could have been doing this for years, but I just didn't see it. So I would really analyze those skills you have that are just natural and see if you can apply them to your business. I love that so much. That's like the epitome of what I got, yeah. the message I want to give women is yeah. that you have all these passions and you have all these gifts and stuff. And oftentimes we, we go by what the world says we should do or what's right. you know, expected. But you, you had a passion for toys and, but you had a passion for acting as well. Your voice is mm-hmm. amazing and you have so much energy and I can see you as an actress and stuff. Yeah, so like thanks. just merging them together and finding that synergy and the, yeah. the convergence of how it all works together. That's what I, women, you know, we can learn how to create and trailblaze our own paths. That's really cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. but I also like to tell women, if you have a passion for acting or something, Take a class on the side, even if you're not doing it for like, for like, for the industry, do it. And I did free. that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. did that. Yeah, I agree. You should still hone that skill. Cause you never know when you're going to use it. Like yeah. I'm using mine now. You exactly. never know. Cool. Yeah. So cool. 